Hello everybody, my name is Slothology and welcome back to our hardcore world. Hello Mr. Zombie. So today we are going to make our base out of this here um, pit. I guess this zombie's made it his home as well. The only thing I've done since the last episode, I know I said, you know, the villagers will be fine and that I wasn't going to bother saving them. I, I kind of did. I locked all of them inside their homes so that until we get some safety features installed, they will be completely safe and unharmed by these pesky zombies. So I think the first thing we need to do is get a lot of furnaces going. And I was actually considering having to go caving for a bunch of coal, but I realized I can use this lava. So what I'm going to do, grab this torch for lighting, because, ooh, that was almost, that was almost a smashed potato. Since the last episode, I figured out how to turn on a dynamic lighting feature, where if I'm holding this torch, it gives off some light. And that is always wonderful. So I'm just going to grab enough stone for a bunch of furnaces here. And then we can get those cooking. So because the lava is right here, might as well just get these fired up right here. So I'm just going to chuck in the lava, grab the bucket out, get that one cooking, grab another bucket, put this in, and voila, I'm pretty sure a full bucket will do a full stack. So we shouldn't have to refill these at all, we should just be able to come back and have all the glass cooked up. So in the meantime... I think we could do some caving, which we are going to need some torches for. I'm also just realizing I have not made a single bit of armor yet. So that might have to be an episode goal today, is to get full iron armor, because we're a little bit vulnerable right now. Not going to lie to you. MLG Pro! Let's go. Alright, uh, I remember seeing some iron right here. Perfect. I will admit, it's a little weird, like, seeing the old textures and not getting, like, the iron block, but rather getting the, uh, like, iron ore bit, whatever it is. But, it is what it is. I like having these old ore textures. So, I'm gonna have to deal with that. So with that one little chunk of coal there, I got 34 and was able to make myself a lot of torches. Which is absolutely perfect. I also want to be lighting up this area so that if Either A, I decide to keep these caves open to my base, I won't have monsters in them. Or, if I want to make farms in the future, it's always good to have the caves lit up. It'll increase your rates and whatnot. I was about to say I'm surprised I haven't seen a mob yet. But there he is. And now he's dead. Perfect. I know it's much safer to have my shield in my offhand, but I just like having the torch. Whoa, this is cool. Where... where does this come up at? I'm wondering if I should go down now. You know what? I am intrigued. I'm going down now. That was kind of scary, actually. I probably shouldn't have done that. That could have been the end of the series. <laughs> Not that I'm bad at these. Oh! Came right back up to my torches here. It's not that I'm bad at these MLGs, it's just like... I'm not like 100% on them, either. 
Wow, this looks so cool with all these waterfalls coming in and the light just peeking through that one spot. This is awesome. Where did I see iron? Here it is. Should probably focus on getting some uh, some armor on before I die. 13, that's not bad. That's about half of what we need for a full set of armor. Thank goodness. I thought that... Uh, I didn't think I had a crafting table with me. I was about to be like, I've made a grave mistake. But uh, we're, we're fine. Because I meant to bring that crafting table with me. And it's definitely all planned out. Ooh, is that what I think it is? Not, not you guys. This right here is an amethyst geode for sure. Which is pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie. One might say poggers. Yes, poggers indeed. Whoa. I did not realize these straight shraders. Shaders made the amethyst geodes light up like that. And before you say anything, yes, I I do realize I was punching him with pork chops, but we're not gonna we're not gonna worry about it. We're gonna pretend like it never happened. All right, twenty screenshots later, and we are good. Actually, I am going to grab some of the stuff. Um. So if you break these ones here, you actually won't get any crystals. You've got to make sure they're fully grown. Sometimes it's a little hard to tell, but you've just got to make sure that the crystals are sticking out, I think, a full block, if that makes any sense. Like, if I come up to this crystal here, yeah, that's sticking out a full block's length compared to this one here, and that's how you can tell it's ready. And you'll get the shards if, you know, you don't drop them. And of course, if you have Silk Touch, you can pick up any of the shards and you'll get whatever stage they are at. So if you pick up this one and this one with Silk Touch, you'll get two different items. And they're... Pretty cool to decorate with, and I think these have been growing while I'm here. They just turn around and another one's grown. Alright, I think that's all the ones that were full. And we got 24, so that's a good amount. And because I have amethyst shards now, I'm actually going to grab a little bit of copper. That way I can make a spyglass. So now that we're out, I think it's time we check- oh! I'm not gonna lie, I did not expect this to be done already. Um, and there's even a little bit left in each of them. Maybe they do like two stacks or a stack and a half. I might have to look into that. And by look into that, I mean completely forget about it and move on. So, we have- we have the glass. That's pretty cool. Might as well, uh, they, uh, they turned off. I was gonna go cook the rest of my iron in those. But anyway, I guess we'll bring these back over to our little, um, I don't, I don't, it's gonna call this an island, but I don't know if it really counts as an island, if it's like, two blocks away from land. But anyway, might as well take these, spread them out, spread out our iron, and grab 10? I need two in each one. No, I only needed eight. Oh well. Bam! We are now better protected. Much better protected, in fact. So, we're basically invincible. No, I'm kidding. Still gotta be careful. 
because I'm... The armor really doesn't help against... Oh, I made iron bars? I didn't even catch that. Uh, okay. That's fine. It's fine. I'm, I'll definitely... Definitely use those. <laughs> I'm not going to. I've never... I don't think I've used iron bars in a build in like years. And like the last time I did... I definitely did not use them very well. Like it... I guarantee you it did not look good. Anyway, let's make some bread. Because that's our... That's our only food source right now, because the wheat is not really taken off. And neither is the potatoes. Also, I just prematurely broke a piece of wheat. Kind of tragic. We have one, one wheat. What a harvest. Wow. Alright, so we have the glass. We have a bucket of water. Um, I guess it's time to get started on this thing. Let's see. Now the question is, do I want the water to be the same level as this? Or do I want it to be a few blocks down? I think a one block lower would look cool. So if we did the glass layer... Oof. Right here. I hope this is enough glass. I really do. Alright, so that's how much one stack covered. We've still got three more. Um... I got a bad feeling about this. I don't think this is going to be enough glass. I guess there's only one way to find out, though. Let's just keep going. I hear zombies walking around, and it sounds like they're on my level. He sounds like he's right here. Now I can't hear him. Alright, whatever. We are just going to... And Tonder. Hang on. There he is! Little bugger. What's actually down here? It's just a little... Little rivet in the ground. I mean, alright. That spider... Sounds like he's in the walls, though. There's gotta be... There's gotta be another, like... High up cave system. He sounds like he's right here. I'm gonna try not to think about him, though. And this right here... Was my last block. We definitely did not have enough. We need probably two more stacks. Actually, you know what? That's like half. We need at least three more, maybe four. So... Yeah, I guess back to the desert I go. Hopefully when I get back that spider will have despawned. Because he is annoying. Very annoying and I don't know where he is. Which is even more frustrating. You know what? I just passed by this in the last episode. Let's see what's in here. Luck of the Sea 3. That actually might be worth fishing for a little bit with. It's kind of cool. I usually don't really fish in Minecraft anymore. Like, I try to get puffer fish for water breathing potions and like, that's it. I used to do it a lot. I mean, you can get really good stuff from it. So it's definitely worth it. It's just a bit of a tedious thing. Alright, so we've got our sand. Uh, we've got three and a half stacks about. I'm hoping that's enough. It should be. 
I probably should have grabbed more, but uh, shovel's almost broke, and I was feeling kind of lazy. I was like, nah, this will be this will be enough. So, really hoping it is. Boom, 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 boom. Lava in there. Sand. Grab this bucket back. Lava in there. Grab the sand. Grab that one. And the final one. Take from right there. There we have it. Um. That bothers me slightly, but I'm not going to move this and grab another bucket of lava, so... Yeah, we're just going to... We're just going to walk away from that. I suppose while we uh, wait for the furnaces to cook up stuff and we wait for the daytime... Oh my god! That terrified me. Oh, we're... we're okay, I was going <laughs> to... It's gonna start fishing. And yeah, that's not an option. Where did I dig the cubby hole? Here it is, here it is. Holy crap, those guys are terrifying. Oh my god, the shaders make these guys look insanely scary. That was really loud in my ear too. It sorry, is really loud in my ears. I guess I should probably light up this little tunnel in case mobs try to spawn in here later. I don't really... I don't really have anything to do against these guys. So I don't have a bow. Oh, come on. Oh, I killed one. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna start fishing, but, uh, these guys were like, nah, you ain't fishing today. And <laughs> I agreed. I was like, yeah, no problem. Okay, you know what? I think I can probably take these guys. Okay, that's one good hit on them. Maybe if I go to the top of the hill, I'll be able to uh, get some more attacks on them. As long as there's not other monsters out there. There's a donkey! Hello, good sir! Oh, God! Okay. We're fine, we're fine. Nothing's wrong here. Why is there no mobs up here? Oh, never mind, there's a spider. Oh! God damn it. Oh, I hate creeper holes. We're starting to get the hang of this. There's only one more. I'm hoping that's it for the night. Are you gonna come after me or are you just gonna soar around? Can I hook you with a fishing rod? Eh. Okay, here we go. Nope, that didn't work. <laughs> Alright, I'll just I'll just kill them. This is the annoying thing about fighting these guys, you gotta wait for them to come to you. I guess if you have a bow, you don't, but, uh... I mean, some people can get, like, two hits on them when they fly down. Let's go! I'm not some people, though. I'm worse. Well, the sun is rising, so we have survived another night. We are on day three now. That's... Not very much, not gonna lie. Like, if this hardcore world ended today, and I'm like, yeah, my hardcore world made it to day three, I don't think anybody would care. Uh, I think I am going to take this waterfall away, as well as all of the other ones, because. What is going on here? Oh, this is just a little pocket of water, that's neat. I think I'm just going to put in my own waterfalls when it comes to it. So there's no need to have these ones flying around. 
Alright, these aren't quite done, so I'm going to do what I was going to do earlier and do a little fishing. Yeah, this is riveting content right here. Oh! I didn't see the, uh, the water stream come in. That's actually a really good fishing. I can combine these two and make a really good one. And the last glass is cooked. Okay, this better be enough. If it's not, I, like, might cry tonight. Not like now, but you know, later. Okay, we have nine left. That was actually pretty close. Um, but yeah, we now have this covered in glass. So the next step... Oh, hang on. I think I see a missing piece. Boop. Eight glass left. So the next step is we're just going to cover this whole thing in water. Which... It'd be nice if I had a second water bucket, but, uh, oh well. well. We'll work with one. Dang it. I'm just gonna start spamming water into there. Okay, it is really hard to tell uh, where what is flowing water and what is a water source with these shaders. So we're going to slap these off for a second. Oh, that's some very blue water. And we're just going to fill this up like this. All right, here we are. The water's all covered up. And honestly, I thought the water was going to drown out the glass a little bit more. But uh, I still think it has a pretty cool effect. And now what's left is making our base down there. The only thing right now is we don't have a way into our base. It's just a covered up hole. So I'm thinking we make the entrance right here and have it spiral down and come out kind of where that cave is. So we'll probably end up having to block off the uh, other side of that cave. So right now, I am going to start cooking up some stone because I have a lot of uh, a lot of work to do with uh, the area bringing the staircase down. I actually kind of like need to put more of the cave, like fill in the cave rather than dig it out. So for now, I think I'm going to work on an entrance point right here and try to make that look good. And then I'll probably go from there. So I think I'll take this down to this level. Try to make this look a little bit natural. And honestly, I might just like... I think I'm just going to go for like a classic hobbit hole look. Uh, the only problem is we have like no wood right now. So I'm going to have to go chop some trees down. Alright, so I am just going to go for a pretty simple hobbit hole entrance here. And this should do the trick. And... Just like that. Line out this block here. Put those in. And then I just gotta do the wall right here. And with that stair right there, that should do the trick. It's pretty simple. Um... There's really not much to it. I'm probably going to build some stuff around it, make it look a little more uh, dug into the wall. And actually, probably should put some trap doors on it. Let's see, we'll put one there, one there, one on the side, and do one on the top? Maybe? No. I was kind of hoping that uh, trap door would come right up. Maybe if we do that, I kind of like the flat better. Whoops, not there. And we open the door, 
into nothing. So we gotta get digging. So we'll come up right here and then go up there and then around. And that will bring us right onto this level here. And then we can go down a little bit. We can stay on this upper level here. Not a bad start. On the note of having an entrance down into our little cave base done, I am actually going to end the episode there. If you guys enjoy the video, smash the like button, comment, subscribe if you want to see more. Ooh. Ooh, kind of can't see me. Uh, until next time, stay slothy. Bye!